Professor Thorvaldor Thordarsson from the University of Iceland believes within the next 48 hours, we will have an intensification of the eruption in the last remaining crater of the Sunuka crater chain, that is a K1. And uh, that there will be also a, a collapse in that area that there is a smoke. We see in the GPS data actually a constant rise in the uh, amount of the land rise. That means the amount of the magma entering is uh, actually more than what is exiting. Something is holding it down. When this uh, barrier is removed and the magma flows, we will have an intensification. I agree with that. Already have uh, had the prediction and uh, published it before. And uh, this, this can happen. We will have a deflation when such a thing happens. The land slightly goes down because the magma is coming out. And uh, uh, this is the area that he says the smoke that we will have a collapse there. This is practically, a, as I have mentioned, this is a, a lava tube. Lava tube is there is a weakness in the uh, wall of the crater, but it doesn't mean necessarily that uh, the, uh, the actual collapse will happen there. We had the overflow before that, and that overflow created this uh, lava tube there, as the mechanism you can see here. But uh, with that weakness there, we had also the same similar to that. We can have an overflow like what we saw in the uh, Fegedesville, or we can have a breach and cracking of the wall. We had it in the Little Kotor, we had it also in this volcano, in the K1 volcano, the last remaining vent in the Sunuka craters chain. Uh, the flow of the lava after this, in either scenario, will be toward the south or a slightly probably toward the north. And the south one may reach the sea eventually, even may overwhelm the L12 defensive wall around the uh, Grindavik and flow toward the town. We have to wait and see. 48 hours, it means two nights. Wait and see. We will see how it will happen.